What's going on guys? It's your friendly firearms pastor, True Exodus, coming at you today to discuss body armor and what are we asking it to do. Because when we think about body armor, we're thinking about things that are the, the lightest, thinnest, most flexible material that offers the most amount of protection at the cheapest cost. And that is just a fantasy because we really have to balance between the weight of the plate the protection level, and of course, the cost of it as well. So if you want super lightweight plates, but you want the most protection possible, it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg. But if you only have $100 to spend, you can buy a pair of steel plates. It's gonna protect you from a lot, but it's gonna weigh you down. It's gonna have some spalling issues as well. So all these things are to be considered when we think about body armor, specifically our own context. And that's the decision that you have to make based off of your perceived threat level. So the YM1 from Maverick Tactical is a level three plus plate. It's kind of a balance between the level three and level four NIJ uh, rating that they have out here. This is special threat tested to take a 7.62 by 51 around at 2,700 feet per second. Now we don't have that today, but it can stand alone and take six of these rounds. This is 122 grain full metal jacket from Tula traveling at 2,400 feet per second out of a 20 inch barrel. We have a 14.5 inch barrel. So not only are we gonna give it six rounds and see if it stands alone against that, but we're also gonna give it some of these bullets. These are the incredible uh, Fort Scott Munition TUI round. It's a 5.56, 62 grain bullet traveling at 3,400 feet per second out of a 20 inch barrel. This is a 16 inch barrel from Nemo and we're gonna see what happens. Let's see if I hit it. How cool is that? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. All of those caught. All right, we're gonna see if we can get this Fort Scott Munition TUI round, which is notorious for punching through body armor through this already compromised plate. Oh man. Hit the very bottom of it. That's pretty cool. You're supposed to give a grace period of like an inch, but some manufacturers boast that you can get things right up on the edge. And if that's not right up on the edge and still caught the bullets right here, just incredible. Is that worth $250 to you? It's 53 ounces, 3.3 pounds, 1.5 kilos. It offers that much ballistic protection as a standalone plate. Is it worth it?